What's up, guys, and welcome back to the second episode in Albania with Shkandia Tirane. Last, uh, this is where we left off the last five years. Uh, we did get promoted uh, to their first year. Uh, we were champions in 2021. Um, so now we're going to go the fi first five years forward to 2026, see how they got into, how they got uh, in the first uh, top tier league in Albania. And see what we were able to do. See if we were able to qualify anywhere, win the cup, or get any more trophies in our cabinet. So 2021, we are in the top tier. As I said, a couple of friendlies don't look too good. Um, looks like uh, we started our first round again in the cup, which we did win against Shkiponia, who are in the second tier. Our league form doesn't look too good, but we have green, so that's what matters. Greens and Oranges, uh, that's what matters. So we're getting points. Skander bag, we did beat them. Second round in our cup, we beat, did beat Devoli. I believe they're still in the second league. Um, as far as third round goes, we did get knocked out by Teuda. Sorry for mispronouncing this. Uh, they are in the top tier with us right now. And uh, as far as the league form goes, it doesn't look too good. Uh, but we did get some wins and some ties in there, so we did get some uh, points. Uh, the, we did play a uh, relegation playoff, okay? But we did uh, beat Bessa, so we are staying in top league, and they're staying in the second league. As far as our attendance goes, the neutral uh, way looks like KF Tirana um is the most away neutral was 6900 and at home against partizani was 3271 which is about double from what we seen last last uh last year as far as our transfer history goes for 2021 21 22 we spent 140,000. the most we spent was on daniel sadushi um 36,000 and blendara um we spent 27000 We did sell uh, Lorenz Sheshai uh, to Shkumbini, if I'm saying that right, second tier. Uh, so we did spend 140 Then we got 10.5 back in. Not too bad. As, as soon as, uh, as far as the first league goes, we did play 16, which we see due to a playoff. But we did get nine wins, eight ties. We were able to stay up by two points. So from this, we can just keep working our way up. So that's not bad at all. As long as we didn't get relegated, you can see Sopoti again. They got relegated. They just keep going up and down, up and down. Um, but not bad for us. We did a, we're able to stay up. As far as 22, 23 goes, we do a lot more, see more green. Uh, Terbuni, we won her friendlies. Borat, I, I believe, second league Serbian. Our first league Serbian, we were able to beat them 1-0. Uh, leagues are good with the win. First round, uh, Shenkol, we were able to beat in the cup. Second was Dinamo, Tirana. Um, first leg we tied. Second leg we were we lost 1-0, so we got knocked out by them. As far as our league form goes, it does look a lot better than last time. It looks like we are making money on a televised, because every game is televised. Um, but we are getting more points this time, so... Not too bad. Let's look at it right away, see how we plays this year. 22-23, we did place 13th, which is not bad at all. So we are up a little bit. 13 wins, 6 draws, 19 losses. So we did get 10 more, 10 plus more points over the last time. And how much money did we spend this year on transfers? Not too much. 88,000. Looks like uh, Florian Kaja or Kaya spent the most on. And then the Mukia, we spent the most. We did sell um, 29.9k uh, to go out and release a lot of players are free because our squad was probably getting huge, so they had to do that. Uh, as far as 23-24 goes, friendly started good. Um, cup started good. League is looking a lot better. We were able to pass the second round in the cup, and I'm assuming third round as well because we lost, went 1 2 0 and then lost 1 0, so that's good. Uh, league form looks a little better than last time. 
finals, we played as quarterfinals. We were as Skinner Bag. Um, we lost 2-1 and tied at home 1-1, which is not too bad at all. We're getting there, slowly but surely. League form over here looks doesn't look too good, but it looks like we did better than last year. Let's see how we place quickly. Uh, we are up to 12th place, 51 points, 13 wins, 12 draws, 13 lives. So slowly we're getting, every year we're getting a lot more wins. It looks like Sopati got relegated again. Sorry, I just noticed that. Uh, we are getting slowly up there. A couple of wins each year, a little more. So that's good. That is perfectly good. Transfers we already looked at. Oh, we're going to look at transfers for this year, sorry. 23-24, we only spent 63000 the most on Talal. Ibrahim, I'm not sure where he's, Syrian player. 33000 and then we got one for Kar from Karabi for 185 Then we, we did sell 52000 so this was almost the first time that we equaled this out. So not too bad, guys, not too bad. Um, as 24-25 goes, again, we're trying to slowly see a little more green each time we do this. Uh, we did play first round in the cup, second round, Belichiku we beat, and then third round, we beat Korabi 2-1 and lost 2-1. Away we won 2-1, so I don't know if this plays the away goals, not too sure. As far as league form going, it's looking a little better each time and a little more green each time. It's not too bad. How do we place this year as far as goes? So we are now six. So each year we went a little bit up. We are six now with 16 wins, 11 draws, 11 losses. So wins slowly keep going up. We're up to 59 points. That's not bad at all, guys. As far as our transfer history goes, for this year, we did spend 190,000. We sold 48.5. Paolo was the most we spent on, which was 83, possible 105,000. And then Brahimi, uh, 74,000. So not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. As far as attendance goes, let's see who most at home was 33.91 against Tirana, and then against Partizani was over 3,000 as well. 25-26, um, looks like we're doing a little better on our friendlies. 5-0 against Ilira. They're in fourth in category. Oh, yeah, so they're in second league. Okay. Uh, Copy beat Kamaza first round. Second round, Skanderbag. Skanderbeo. I don't know if I'm saying down right. I apologize. Looks like... Away they beat us 2-1, and then at home we beat them 2-1, so I'm assuming we did go on. They went third, we got Bucerinti. Third round, which would be on 1-0 and 2-1. So we are in semifinals, or quarterfinals, again, Kukasi, who are also in top tier. Um, we did tie 1-1, and then away we beat them 1-0, so we go on. And semifinals, we got Flamurtari 3 0, and then we tied away 1 1. So we are in the finals of the cup as well as league looks much better this time around, guys. Who do we play? Uh, Tueda, we lost the first home game 1 0, and then away we tied 2 2. So I'm assuming they go on, but pretty, we are runners up this year. That is absolutely amazing. As far as attendance goes, at home, 3391. Looks like a way was almost 12,000. That's about the biggest crowd we played in front of. And how do we place this year in the league? We were fifth. I believe that's what we were. Sixth last year, fifth this year. A couple more wins, a couple, a little bit less ties, one less loss, but we did get 68 points. So we're slowly getting up there, guys, slowly but surely. As far as transfer history goes for this year, we spent 300000 The most was Arseni Lici, 17-year-old, and then Irving Gashi as well, 75 k Potential a little more than what it is. We did sell 39000 worth of players. 
um, as far as that goes. Like we said, we placed fifth this year. Um, so that's not bad. Transfer history went through. Um, and the last thing we got to check is the club details, but I believe they're doing awesome uh, so far. So let's go look at the club details, see what has improved and what we are on. Uh, as far as club attendance now, we're almost at 3,000, which is absolutely amazing. Um, club attendance is up as well. I think we started with 250. Now we're up to 718. Minimum and this stays the same. As far as facilities go, training facilities went down one. Youth facilities stay the same. Junior coaching is at six, and youth recruitment went to six from three. So everything else looks like the same. As far as finances go, we still have 642 million. Um, their transfer budget now is 100 million, and their payroll budget is 98. So not too bad. Not too bad. So that was the first 10 years. We're going to go five more years forward from here, guys, and see how they did. All right, guys, we are now finally to the last five years of this project, and we're in 2031. We left off in 25-26. This is the next season, 26-27. Um, friendlies went awesome. Started the league a little bit uh, bad. As far as Cup goes, we did lose 2-1. It would be 3-0, so we went on to second round. Um, second round, we did get through. League form looks good. As far as cup goes, we've been 3-0 and then 3-1 away. So that probably means we went on to the goals. Uh, Lozani, quarterfinals, tied home, lost 2-0. So we're knocked out of the cup. But league form looks amazing. Except these three right here. Um, so they did good. They did good this year. They improved over the last year. Let's see how we did in our league. We placed second. Awesome. We got second. We got 80 points, 24 wins, 8 draws, 6 losses. That means we are going to Euro Cup, if I'm correct, uh, this year by being placed second. As far as transfer history goes, we did spend 475000 Wow. It's not bad. We have a lot of, a lot of money to spend, so... Uh, Mario Churi um, is 130k potential, and then this gentleman Talan Taki 125. We did sell 58,000, so we're getting some in, getting some out, so not too bad. So 27, 28 is our first time in the Euro Cup. Um, we got the first round. We played FC Vitoru. Romanian first league. Uh, we tied away, but we went home. We tied again, but we went on penalties. And then we played against Cherno Morvarna, Bulgarian first team. Um, away we lost 1-0, and then at home they beat us 2-1. Um, not too shabby. As long as we are playing in Europe, making some money, it is good. Uh, league form, not too bad throws the starts. Got through the first cup, uh, second round we got through, third round we got through, oh bad form in the league right there guys. Five quarterfinals we did uh, tie the first game and a loss at home, so we are knocked out. So not too bad, league form looks good, but we did look like that we had a little more losses than last time. And then 27, 28, we did place fifth. So I don't think there's Europe or anything for us, which is not too bad. We did play last year. We did spend 925,000. The most we spent 300,000 on Ariane Haliti. If I'm saying that right. And then there's Iran as well. Narito and Bruno, 110 apiece. We did spend our sell 500. 52,000 so not too bad so that was our 27 28 28 29 like I said we're not in Europe but wow look at that form guys that's all oh, sea of green with a couple of ties here we did get past the second round in our cup I'm assuming since we have uh, been placing good in the last um, couple of years that we start now from second round which we did last year Third round we got through as well, 4-0 and 2-0, so 6-0 on the aggregate. 
quarterfinals we, we tie with Partizani and then away we beat them and uh, we beat so Sopos again in, uh, in the first league Skanderbag we lost 2-0 at home and then tied away 2-2 so that means they go on a little, little worse form uh, at the end but we did awesome this year um, as far as everything else goes if you can see only a couple of losses in there. I think one loss in the league. As far as our attendance go, the most was against Skanderbeg away. My home was 3391. I think we're filling up our stadium. They need to expand it for us. 2829, how did we place? We are the champions. Okay, it took us about 12 years, I'm going to say. 13, doesn't matter. But we finally got the, another trophy in our cabinet, which we did place first, which means. Champions League for us um, next year. So that's absolutely amazing. Uh, this was 28-29. As far as our transfer history go, we did spend 425000 Not too much. But we sold 94. So not too bad, guys. Not too bad. So that means 29, 20, and 30. We are in Champions League. We get Legia. We get Legia for Warsaw. We did tie at home 1 1, but we did lose 2 0 uh, away. But we are in Europe, that's what matters. Uh, second qualifying round. So it looks like Albania qualifies second round. They don't start from the first. That's good. As far as the cup game goes, we did pass first round, or sorry, second round and third round against Skanderbeg. League looks okay. A couple more losses than last league. Quarterfinals, we did beat. Pogradetsi and semifinals we lost to KF Tirana unfortunately so we don't get that trophy this year and looks like um, our form at the end is not too good and Skanderbeg did beat us in the super, super Coupa or Super Cup and how do we place this year guys let's go to stages 29-30 we got 5th place wow we got knocked down a lot being champions, they got, got knocked down to that uh, to fifth place. 29-30, we did spend 1.1 million, the most on Abdullah Guea. I'm sorry, I'm saying that wrong. Um, but 325k contract, to, he came from uh, uh, Dynamo Bucharest. Um, looks like a good player. Dino Bucharest, no, looks like awesome stats as well, 20 year old, not too bad. 279 on Bekar Shafana, I'm saying these wrong, I apologize guys. And we sold about 110,000 players, 110,000 players, so not too bad. Uh, let's go back and look at the next year, which is 30-31. Um, we did start the league. Absolutely good, not bad. Just one loss against Skanderbeg. Uh, second round we passed. Third round in the cup we passed. Fourth round we got knocked out by KF Tirana. That means we're out of the cup. The league form looks good. A couple more losses. I'm assuming we placed higher than fifth this year. As far as home the game goes, 3, 000, uh, 391. So we're filling up that stadium again. Um... Before we look at our league position, let's look at our transfer history. We spent 975250 on um, Mbemba and Elvis Gachi on, uh, from Dinamo Tirana and Fabrici. Did we do anything next year? Nope. But we did spend 975 We sold 750000 so not too bad. We're not overspending too much. And as far as our last year goes... We were fifth again. So that looks like the top doesn't change much. It's Skanderbeg, Parzani, Kif, Tirana, us. And I wasn't following Kukasi, but we get 22 wins, 8 draws, 8 lost, 74 points, which is not bad at all, guys. So last year, that was it. Um, we did get in the Champions League, but we did not pass through the first round, so or second round, technically. But they did good. Uh, we started in 1617 from being last in the third tier to promotion next year. A couple years spent in second tier, and we got into top tier. 
and stayed up top. Uh, looks like we got one uh, trophy, or we won the Super League once. Uh, let's look at the overview. So we do have a couple of trophies here, which we were looking at. We want more. That's not enough. Competitions, you can see we went through all this. Oh, look at this. Under 18's Cup third place. So our under 18's got something at least. Reserve group runners up. Um, but in reserve group one, we were winners. Uh, this is stuff we did not see. So this is our reserves in uh, under 18's. So that's awesome. As far as landmark goes, there is a lot, mostly captains, uh, a war of Kager, super play, fair play. So I'm assuming this is, has to do with the fair play. Um, and the one last thing we're going to look at, I look at the super league and see what their rules are and how much money we get. So first place gets 97,000, last place gets 1,200. Not too bad. That's good money. Uh, minimum salary fifteen thousand. Then before we get to the last part of our video, um, I do look at one thing in our squad. It's how much we're paying our players. So their salary. Oh wow! It looks like Hassan Ben Aid is getting four and a half million. I think that's the highest so far that I saw. Uh, Herman Anson, I'm sorry I'm saying that wrong, 2.35 million, he's from Iceland. 1.6 for Emmanuel, 1.5 for Ibrahim and Frane, Frane Rosic, Croatian, 1.375. The rest then starts falling off. It's one thing that we look at um, at the end of our uh, experiment is to see uh, how much they're paying their players because they have a lot of money. So look at the club details last. Our reputation went up again to 3801 from just under 3000. Club attendance has doubled. We were at 718 last time. Minimum and the maximum all stay the same. As far as facilities goes, uh, looks like training facilities went to 12. Youth facilities went to 12. Uh, junior coaching went to 10. And youth recruitment went to 9. Fortunately, corporate facilities have not been touched yet. Finances, we still do have 569 million, which is awesome. They're spending 88 million on transfer budget and it looks like 88 million on payroll budget. So they still have a lot of money and a lot of time to do a lot of stuff. Uh, profile has not changed in general. We have 315 um, season ticket holders, uh, 561 million we're still worth. We are rich, predicted to be second. Our reputation went up, as we said, a lot. As far as facilities go, this is one I have not been checking, but we do have an eight-year ground sponsorship deal that ends in 2036 that we're getting 182k per season. So we are making money other way as well. Um, eight club details. Uh, stadium condition is still at one. I just want to check that. Um, seat is still the same, so. It took us 15 years. We get, did get to the first tier. We did get in the Champions League, but we were not able to qualify. I still see this as a success because we went for third tier, two top, two getting there, um, to get into Champions League. Um, we did not lose both the games. That's why I see success. Um, if you guys want to see any other clubs, any other videos, please comment below. Let me know if you saw clubs, other your clubs in this uh, project that you saw. You want to see this. Let me know as well, uh, as well below. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, guys, have a nice day.